everybody, it's Jennifer Gonzalez for Cult of Pedagogy. Today I would like to show you how to make a, an animated video using an online software called GoAnimate. GoAnimate is a, a, just a great program that costs very little money and your students can use this program to create their own animated videos. Um, I'm going to have a, a full article on the website that sort of goes into some possibilities for it, but in this video I'd like to demonstrate how to actually make a GoAnimate video. So here we go. So I am looking at my GoAnimate dashboard. I just logged in and I'm going to click on make a video. GoAnimate offers a lot of different themes that you can choose. I'm just going to go ahead and click into one of the theme areas. I'll click on Comedy World and I'm brought into the video maker. This part of the screen is called the stage, down here is the timeline, and over here is called the tray, where all the components are kept that you can pull into your video. They start you off with a background, I'm going to pick a different one. And then I need a character. I'm going to have him in the very first scene, I'm going to have him walk onto the screen. So I click on him, give him an action, click on walk. And what they're showing me is a movement path from beginning to end. So I'm going to slide him a little bit off the screen and have him walk to the center. And that will be my first scene. Every different action that the character takes is called a different scene. It's really just sort of like a different camera angle. But you, anytime you want them to move or change, you have to create a new scene. To do that, you click on this blue plus, and that adds a new scene. So now he's in the center. I'm going to have him look at us and say something. So I click on the character again, click this eye to have him look at us. And I would also like to pull the camera in a little closer to him. So I'm going to adjust this button just so I can scroll out a little. I click on the camera, that gives me a frames on the outside. So I'm going to scoot in a lot closer so that when he starts to talk to us, it's a closer view. I'm going to create a new scene because I would like there to be a short pause before he actually starts talking. Make that last a little shorter and then now in this scene is where he's actually going to talk. So I click on him. Let's add some voice. I'll type something I'd like him to say. GoAnimate offers a lot of different languages by the way, but we're going to stick with English. And I'm going to just go ahead and make him a British guy because why not? Somebody named Brian. I'm going to add the voice. Hi, I'm Joe. That's, I want there to be a little pause between him and the next thing that he says, so uh, we'll start another new frame, and then we'll add some more voice. I'd like to show you some things I can do in GoAnimate. I personally love the computer voice. You can actually do voiceover and add that, but I'm going to just show you with the computer voice this time. In this scene, I'm also going to zoom in a little bit closer. So, new scene. Let's uh, put him in a couple of different backgrounds. Let's have him go grocery shopping. All right, let's pull this out further. I'm going to click on a tomato, put that on the counter. Let's say he's just buying a tomato. Um, let's have him say, I can go to the grocery. Oh, we need a cashier, don't we? Put her there, but she needs to be behind the counter. Click on her. You can see all these buttons up here. One of these moves her back. Send backwards. Send her back. Do it again. You have to send people and characters back sometimes a few times because there's many things they can be behind. And then let's also flip her so she's facing him. So we've got this scene. Let's add another one. Have him go to a different background. We'll just have him do three things. She goes away. The tomato goes away. Maybe we can add some friends. Let's have her sit on one of these benches and let's flip her. And what he can say is Have a barbecue. And one more background. Let's have him go to a barn. Let's get rid of his buddy. Let's flip him. Let's make him dance. <laughs> Actually, he needs to talk. I'll have a quick dance with my pet cow, Nina. We need a new scene for him to dance. Now he'll dance. 
All right, one more scene. Let's put him in a tent. Let's change his facial expression. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, let's add a little music. All right, we're going to choose Yellow Carousel because it just doesn't seem like anything that Joe would be into, but I think it would be kind of funny. So maybe we can zoom in on Joe for the last scene. And composition, we'll add camera movement, okay? Uh, I may have just added it, so can we? I believe everything else is all set. Joe, I'd like to show you some things I can do in Go Animate. I can go to the grocery, have a barbecue, or have a quick dance with my pet cow, Nina. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, we're going to save it. Call it Joe, and we're going to make it public click save and share. All right, so now it is in uh, its own viewer and what I can do with it from this point is I can export it to YouTube, I can embed it on uh, social media sites, I can share a link to go directly to this player. There's lots of different options that I can do. So that is how you make a GoAnimate video. Give it a try.